What's going on, everyone? It is Triple Crown 24 back at you today with a five spot TTM recap episode. Very rare that I get five um, outside of like, I would say, any months from March until August. But hey, these all align today um, with various amounts of times. Some uh, strange returns, too, just because of uh, where they came back from. But uh, we'll go ahead and get into that. Let me know what you guys think of today's returns in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And then a reminder that this Saturday will be the 100 subscriber giveaway video going live. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into these. The first one out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Took 48 days. It's a one-to-one -one success. And I don't have any out um, to any of the like Las Vegas teams or anyone who lives in the state of Nevada. So I had no idea who this was going to be until I opened it up. And it turns out it is from former White Sox infielder, who I believe is now with the Mariners. Gordon Beckham. So he signed this 2013 tops. I believe he is one per. Um, this 2013 car looked pretty clean, so I went after that. Very highly regarded um, prospect when he was first coming up with the White Sox, and he played pretty well, especially uh, defensively. He was a really good um, defensive middle infielder. His card prices used to go like for crazy amounts back in like 2010, 2011. It was kind of crazy how much. Uh, um, hoppy love that Gordon Beckham had at that time, but now with the Mariners, um, I sent this to the Tacoma. I don't know what their team nickname is, so you guys can correct me down below, or correct me, excuse me, down below in the comments. Um, but it came back from Las Vegas, so maybe he lives out there now. Not 100% sure, but I know that the minor league um, season just came to an end, so. I was expecting a few of my minor league returns to come back in, and this was one of them that happened to. So thanks to Mr. Beckham for signing that one. This next one was one of the ones I, I did figure out. It is coming back from the Metroplex in Michigan. It's a one of one in 20 days. So this is Metro Detroit area. It's for my classics collection, and it is coming in from Gilbert Brown. So you guys remember this card from my what was it, the Classics Blaster Box break that I did. And this was one of the ones I set aside for TTMs. Got it back pretty quickly. Inscribed his jersey number there. This is a guy who wasn't like, you know, an all-pro several times over and, you know, a Hall of Famer, but a really solid player. Um, really good, I would say, uh, defensive tackle, nose tackle for many, many years. So really happy to add that one in my collection. And now he is in Michigan. He's done some pretty good charity work as well, so that's really cool to see whenever an athlete can give back like that. So thanks, Mr. Brown, for that addition to my collection. Here's another one that uh, I'm, I'm not really sure on this one how it got down to Tampa Bay, because I think I sent this to the Minnesota Twins. It's a one-on-one -on -one success. It took 77 days. Uh, number 128 on the year, card number 180, and it's coming in from Taylor Motter, who you can see he is with the Mariners here. I believe he was waived by the Mariners and picked up by the Twins. Excuse me, they just knocked the um, table. And I don't know if he was like claimed by someone else or something, but came back from Tampa Bay, so I was very surprised when, when I opened up that envelope just because I have so many out in Florida right now. This is not who I was expecting to see, but um, another addition to my 2018 top set. Signed nicely in black, signature came out well. Looks pretty good on the um, Mariners, like greenish, bluish card there. So happy to add that one to my set. And then this is the number one where I was like, I don't know what this one is going to be. You can see you got some uh, water damage down below there. Coming in out of San Francisco, California, it took 63 days. Um, a prime example of why I don't send to players who I think are on the trade block is because um, this is a guy who actually got moved, and I was pretty sure that I was not going to see these cards back. Um, just because he was traded from the Miami Marlins out to Arizona, I want to say. But um, sent my index card back. I sent him questions, and he did not uh, return them. But here's the first one. It is Brad Ziegler. Really good TTM signer. If you're someone who's first starting out, he might be a guy who you try. Um, but there's the first one. It's this. What year is this? I should know that. 2015 tops. Um, and then... Another one here where he is uh, with the Oakland Athletics. This is an update series card. I like the 2015 tops a lot. I don't have too many of them, but um, these 2010 are they're all right as well. The only two cards I think I had of him. 
And I tried them last year with the Marlins, but I, I think they might have like gotten lost in the mail or something because I never saw it again. Um, so I tried them a second time, and it came back well, both personalized to me. So thanks, Mr. Ziegler. Again, it came out of San Francisco, so um, I guess maybe the Diamondbacks were like in town for a game, and he just powered through his fan mail. Um, but a very reliable signer, baseball card collector himself, so definitely a guy who is, uh, you know, good for the hobby for sure. And then this last one also been out for a minute. You can see there's water damage in this one as well. I think it was just raining that day um, when these were in the mailbox. It's a one-on-one -on -one success. It took 120 days, number 130 on the year. I got to say I'm a little disappointed with how this one came out. Um, it's a no fault of the person who signed it. It's just that this card is pretty glossy, and I, you know, I didn't really think it was all that glossy when I first looked at it. But uh, return my space here. As you can see that this is the one that was facing on the card and it is absorbed part of the signature just because it's a really glossy card coming in from Mark Brunel who is the quarterback of the Jaguars when they were pretty good during the late 90s of course the Jags are now one of the better teams in the AFC once again um, they have a pretty big game to um, it was yesterday as the time you're seeing this against the Patriots I don't know what the outcome of that game was but there you have it Mark Brunel you can see the signature bubbled up a little bit. It's not bad um, by any means, but this card, these limited cards, I guess, are a little bit more glossy than I anticipated. So not bad, um, but really good quarterback. Happy to add that in. Required a $5 donation, but I'm always happy to pay that because it goes for a good cause. So that will do it for today's returns. Um, five pretty solid returns, some that were unexpected when I first opened them up, but a Really good haul nonetheless. So let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite return from today's batch day? As you can see, I got a nice little stack of cards there to add to my collection. Let me know if you've gotten any uh, successes back recently that you want to share with me. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.